Hi, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? Oh, I've had quite the day. Today is Monday. It's my day off. You're going to probably see this Friday, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but last Monday <laughs> was my day off. And, uh, oh, yeah. I, um, <clears throat> I don't know if I, I think I was telling you guys, Ooh, I'm sweaty. Um, I lately have been very lethargic and very, um, like low energy. Uh, I've been dragging my butt to work. I'm just, I don't know what the heck going, was going on, but <clears throat> it was not good. And it was like that for about at least a week, week and a half, you know, I don't know. It was, you know, I think it was partial depression. Um, George and I are going through some financial issues and, and whatnot that we're trying to figure out. We just had to renew the mortgage. Mm. Our mortgage went up. <laughs> um, you know, it's it, no, I mean, like what everybody that just went through COVID, um, you know, business has gone down, gone under, uh, money's tight. Um, people have lost their homes, like just stuff. Right. Um, so we have been trying to get our crap together and fix whatever's happening in our life. And it's been extremely stressful. <clears throat> George is working stupid hours. He's working seven days a week, two jobs, um, my business isn't making any money. I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to give myself a paycheck, but we'll see what happens. Um, <clears throat> so I've just been feeling like I haven't contributed to the household. Um, like we had to let go of our gardener. We had to let go of our housekeeper because <clears throat> we just can't afford it. You know, um, we just ended up charging $800 to a line of credit so I could get my car fixed. You know, I mean, it's just stuff. And it, it can get to the point where you are absolutely done. You're just, you feel like you've been beaten to the wall. I'm sure that there's a lot of you that can relate. Uh, <clears throat> and we have never been in this financial situation um, you know, like for years and years, right? Like we've been doing okay. And so we feel like we've really been kicked in the gut and, you know, um, George is trying so hard not to bankrupt his company. And so we're just trying to survive at this point. So anyways, um, so I think it just, it started really getting to me. And I started going into a funk. I started to regret opening my shop and thinking, you know what? That's $4,000 that we could have used to something else. Uh, and, you know, it just, yeah, it was just getting to me. And so it was really hard for me to get up in the morning and get myself to work. And I kept having this for what reason, you know, or, um, attitude. And so... Uh, George was at the bank today and renewed the mortgage. Now he's talking to a financial broker and all this. And, and we're finally, I hope, getting things together. Um, so <clears throat> I'm, we're both stressed to the max. And I think we're starting to come out of the fog. I'm hoping, I'm praying. But um, <clears throat> anyways... And then with uh, what happened with Nancy from She's Got Yarn 2. God, I'm so glad she's going home. I was so worried. I was so sick with worry. Um, as were a lot of people. I mean, good Lord. Um, that really kicked me. Um, and thinking about my own life and thinking, well, you saw the video. Anyway, <clears throat> so that was going on. Um my shop is up and down and up and down and up and down. Um, it does really good one day. And then like yesterday there was like, I need $17. 
<laughs> I just, it was, I was, I was in a bad way yesterday. <laughs> so anyway, um, today I got up, I had so much to do. And I thought, okay, Sandy, just get up and just get on with it. And uh, so I went and I got my blood work done um, it's my for my diabetes. I've been procrastinating on that. I have not wanted to know. I haven't been feeling right. And I just didn't, I didn't want to know what was going on. But um, now <clears throat> I'm sitting here going, no, I got to deal with my stuff. So I went and got my blood work done. I'll know tomorrow what the results are of that. Um, and then I went and got my car insurance done and my car insurance actually went down. I was like, yay. <laughs> so, uh, so that made me feel good. And then I was like, I have to clean this house. The house is getting out of control. Uh, because I'm at work seven day, six days a week. George is at work seven days a week. We haven't had a chance to get anything done. And I don't have anyone to come and deal with it for me now. Um, and, you know, like, with my back the way it is, and the fact that I can't, I, I can't do housework. I, my back just, I'll be down for like a long, if I throw my back out, I'm screwed. Um, yeah, it's, it's not good. So, uh, yard work, I can't do yard work either, but I try to do what I can now. <clears throat> the housework, I, I figured, you know what, I have to just do it, push myself to do it. And so I did today. I, it's weird. I feel so energetic right now. Um, it's, I'm just like, okay, somebody just took over and said, okay, come on, we're going to do this. Uh, so I was, I started in the bath. No, I started in the kitchen, got the kitchen all done and I was feeling really good about myself. And I was just like, yeah, okay, this is great. I know that as soon as George gets home, it'll be five minutes and it'll be all a disaster. But for now, everything smells nice and clean and everything's good and I'm happy. <laughs> uh, I went and I did the bathtub or the bathroom. Oh. Trying to do the bathtub is hard. It's really hard for me. Um, trying to do floors and stuff and oh yeah, it was, it was awful, but I got it done. Uh, the bathroom's all shiny and clean and everything. And I came out of there feeling really good. And then I says, okay, now I got to do the living room. I went to start doing the living room and I looked out the side door and Bailey was out in the backyard rolling around on the grass. I know exactly what that means. She has found a dog poop pile and I just gave her a bath a few days ago she came in and the dog poop was chunked all through her body. I just cleaned the bathroom. <laughs> um, I was in the middle of doing something and I had a knife in my hand and I was um, doing something that when I looked over and saw her rolling, I was just like, oh, you got to be kidding me. And the knife slipped and I stuck the knife in my finger. So I'm sitting there bleeding all over the place and Bailey comes in with this look of pride and I'm sitting there with a cloth and bleeding and looking at her going, oh my God, do not touch anything. Get in the bathroom now. So she okay. gets into the bathroom. I'm like, I can't, I can't wash her with this hand because if I get that, that stuff in my finger, it's going to be a bad day. Um, so I'm sitting here going, great. George isn't home. I've got to try and bath the dog in my clean bathtub. 
and try not to get dog crap in my finger. <laughs> so I was fit to be tied, I'll tell you. I was mad. So she, I get her into the bathtub, and what does she do? She shakes. And dog crap went everywhere. All over the walls, all over the tub, all over the floor, all over me. I love my dog. I really do. But I almost drown her. <laughs> I was mad. Oh. So, I finally get her washed and cleaned off. Get her out of the tub. Now I have to re-clean the bathroom, which is my nemesis. The bathroom and clean and um, putting sheets on the bed are the two things that destroy my back. And I have to do it twice now. I was not saying pretty words, I'll tell you that. So here I am, fingers bleeding. Now I have to get out the cleaner again and start cleaning all of my tub and everything. So I've got my arm up in the air to make sure that I'm not, you know, losing a, a whole, all this blood. <laughs> and I'm the other hand and I'm trying to clean again. I'll tell you. If I ever needed a drink at that point, it would, you know, I, it, that was the moment. So I finally finished cleaning the bathroom for the second time. Dog is cleaned. Now I have to tackle the living room. My back is screaming and I'm going, I still have energy though. I'm good. Everything's good. So I went and I cleaned the living room and uh, you know wiped everything down did the floors and everything i haven't mopped the floors yet i haven't even gone and done the, the bedroom yet i just can't i'm i'm i've got clothes a mountain of clothes to put away because george did all the laundry and so i needed to sit down and just try and relax i have believe it or not i i hate classical music it's like nails down the chalkboard, right? But for some reason, I love Baroque classical music. And if you don't know what Baroque is, it's... Look it up. Look it up on YouTube or the internet. It's from way, 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 way back. 1800s or something. Um, I think that in my past life, I was from that time because I don't know what it is. It just calms me down. I don't listen to music much anymore. I used to listen to music all the time and it music always got me through the tough times. But as I got older and life got busier, I didn't li I haven't listened to music much anymore. I listen to it on the way to work because I've got Sirius satellite, but um, Baroque, I haven't really listen to in quite some time so I put it on today I got it going right now I don't know if you guys can hear it um but it's it calms me and I need calm right now so I thought I'd sit down and do a video for you guys and just bitch about my day <laughs> you know so I'm drinking electrolytes I'm thinking I might have to go off coffee for a while or something. I don't know. It's not sitting right with my stomach. Um, <clears throat> so, ah, oh, yes. How are you guys? <laughs> um, I don't have much to show you guys crochet wise because it's at the shop. Uh, so maybe what I'll do is add a clip onto this video tomorrow when I go back to work and show you some of the things that I've been making. I'm making, I'm calling them fat cats. And I've made three of them so far. 
They are so cute. They are adorable. I love them. Um, so I've made, a, you know, a few and I'm probably going to make more. <clears throat> I have an idea for the shop. We've decided that we're going to bring in some yarn. We're going to grab some money from wherever the hell we can. And, um, we're going to bring in yarn for the shop because I'm starting to find that I'm getting a lot more crocheters and knitters that are coming into the shop <clears throat> and they see the amigurumi or the plushies or you know the shirts that my niece makes and they're saying things under their breath to their friends or whatever um you know like uh I can't crochet or you know I love this I wish I could do I wish I could crochet something like this or you know <clears throat> stuff like that um so I'm kind of going, oh, are you a knitter? Or are you a crocheter? Or... So I'm starting to ask these questions and I'm getting um, the responses that they there are uh, some yarnies around. So I've been asking them and, you know, would you buy yarn if I brought it in? And they were like, oh my God, yes. We don't have a good yarn shop around here. So I was like, oh, okay. So I've been talking to them and getting some information about some yarn groups that are around. And I've been getting some more information about the yarn shops that are there, are around. Uh, they say their yarn is way overpriced um, and that their selection isn't very good. You know, it's only a couple of shops. A couple of shops actually closed down. So <clears throat> I'm thinking this might be my opportunity. So I'm in, I'm in the process of talking to a couple of wholesalers and I need to talk to Angela for my precious yarnery, um, because she's going to be dyeing some yarn for me. And, um, yeah, I have to talk to some people and figure out which yarns I want to bring in. So that's fun. Uh, what else? Um, oh, I made some, I do have one thing I can show you. I saw a video about these and I thought these are a great idea. And I, I want to talk to Angela, um, about this because, um, there's another Yarny out there, um, that is friends with Angela and her daughter is autistic and she does a lot of stuff for the Oh, I thought George was on. Um, for the autism community. <clears throat> and I thought these would be really cute for her daughter and for the autistic kids. So I'm going to leave a link down below of the video of where I got this idea. Um, but it's a frog. Let me turn this off. There we go. It's a frog. But listen, can you hear it? Can you hear that? Inside here is a big one of these. Um, I've got the, the bigger ones <clears throat> for your hair. So they snap, right? Uh, so I, I started making these and I'm thinking for kids at the shop, you know, if, um, if I make up a whole bunch of them, I'm going to put them in the shop and hope that uh, this is going to be something that they'll enjoy. I have no idea how much to charge for it because um, because it's got the safety eyes. I would rather not have the safety eyes, uh, but I did melt the backs of them and... Uh, I think I wanted to just try it and see how they came out. But I think the next ones that I do, I'm going to um, put Gorilla Glue on the inside so that it's really, really in there. Uh, and then, yeah. So I thought they were just adorable. I want to figure out how to make little monsters and stuff like that with these. Um, I might have to talk to Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hootenance Crafts and 
uh, maybe collab with her on how to do that. But I thought this was a brilliant idea. So, yeah. So that's the one thing I can show you. Um, what else? I don't know. I can't think. I'm so tired, you guys. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. So I'll probably add add on a little clip to this this video once I get to the shop tomorrow and show you guys some of this stuff. Oh, I know what I'm going to tell talk to you guys about. <laughs> you guys saw my Timu order. I was so happy that you know the shirts came in, and I was so excited. I went and put a big Facebook ad out. You know, <sighs> you guys. Nobody told me. I I got a message on one of my business Facebook ads and I thought this this girl this woman was just being bitchy. She said grammar much lol. I'm like, "What? What does that mean?" And or no, she said grammar police or something. And I'm like, "What? Is it something I said?" Like, did I spell something wrong or whatever? Because I've been getting that a bit, right? Um, and I, it took me the longest time to figure out what the heck she was talking about. I actually blocked her. Look at this. Can you see what's wrong? It's supposed to say highly unlikely. It says highly unlikely. There's an L missing. Oh my God. Why did I not see this when I ordered them? I went back on Timu and I looked at the picture again and sure enough, it's spelt wrong in the picture. So, yeah, I went and I looked at the video that I did of the shirts I got and I thought maybe it was just a a spelling mistake on the on the picture that they had. Nope. I embarrassed much. Words cannot describe. So, I contacted them and I asked for a refund and I I'm going to send the shirts back. I can't sell them like that. I just, I can't even believe that. Oh, so that was fun. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. I'm just having a week. <laughs> but nobody caught it. Nobody caught it. I've had those shirts in my shop for the last couple of days and not one customer said a darn thing. They all looked at it and laughed and says, ah, highly unlikely. <laughs> not one person caught it. <laughs> oh man. So now I'm reading all the shirts that I get um, and making sure that they were okay. <laughs> so yeah so that's that's my my week oh okay guys I gotta go and do my bedroom now I'm not looking forward to it so yeah okay so I will talk to you guys later I love you all and um yeah okay bye our fairy. <laughs> hey, Yarnabies. So I'm at the shop and I was said that I was going to show you guys the things that I had worked on that I couldn't show you because they were here. <laughs> so let me turn you around and I will show you. Okay, so here's my Octo. There's another Octo. <laughs> Big eyed Octo. That you guys saw that one. I got a pickle. And then I've got a slug. 
Isn't it cute? It's like fuzzy. <laughs> uh, and these are my fat cats. Oops. They got eyelashes. Aren't they cute? I just love these little guys. I've only got three right now. And then I got my moose. My Shimana moose. And then I've got one of my seals. And I got a turtle. Oops. There's my turtle. It's just hanging out here. Just hanging out. Then I started making these scrunchies. These are made with the gopher faux. They're so soft. So I put them into a two pack. I did them on a bunch of different colors. I did a couple of other things, but I can't show you because they're a gift for someone. So, ouch. Um, and right now I'm working on something very bright. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stop doing amigurumi for a little while, give my hands a break, but I'm going to be, I'm using the Sweet Roll Vivid in the It's Electric and it's a pattern um, tutorial that I found this morning on um, YouTube that popped up in my feed and I'll show you guys that uh, when I get more done but it's really cool and I'll put the link for just give me a link for it down below so if I can make one and put them in my shop maybe they'll sell we'll see <laughs>